Welcome back mushroom folks. In this video I will show you how to make grain spawn for at home mushroom cultivation. This is a fundamental step in the mushroom propagation process. The no soak no simmer method shown in this tutorial is a streamlined process for making grain spawn. This ultra efficient technique yields super consistent results while saving time and energy by removing the boiling and straining step. Watch until the end for some useful tips and tricks. To get started, you will need whole grains like millet, rye, brown rice, or corn. Any whole grain can be used, but if you are using jars, I would recommend using corn or rye since other grains tend to form large clumps and you can't break them up easily like you can when using pliable filter patch bags. You will need liquid culture, plate culture, or any form of mycelium to inoculate the grain. You can also use colonized grain or sawdust spawn as inoculum. Any of these options you can make at home or buy online. You will also need filter patch bags. The bags I'm using here are 4T unicorn bags with a fine filter to block contamination while allowing the mycelium to breathe as it's growing throughout the grain. Another good option for home cultivation is using a wide mouth mason jar with a specialized lid. This lid has an injection port and a filter patch for easy inoculation and contamination-free incubation. This is very useful for at-home cultivators since you can seal the jar prior to sterilization and you do not risk contamination by exposing the jar to open air for inoculation. You can simply leave the jar sealed for the entire process and inject your liquid culture through the self-healing injection port. If you're using unicorn bags, then you'll want to buy adhesive injection ports that you can stick on your bags to help with inoculation in open air. You will need a scale and isopropyl alcohol. Lastly, you will need a large pressure cooker or sterilizer. For some processes in mushroom cultivation, a pressure cooker is not needed, but for making grain spawn, it is required. Start by adding 885 grams of dry grain and 475 grams or milliliters of water to your 4T unicorn bag. I typically use millet, but as I mentioned previously, other popular options include rye, corn, and brown rice. I recommend starting with the grain that is most accessible to you. Tap water typically works well here, but if you have poor quality tap water, you can use filtered water instead. Once all your bags are filled, neatly fold the gussets so they are nice and flat. Now place the grain bags in a large pressure cooker. I use these stainless steel steamer racks to keep the bags out of the water at the bottom of the pressure cooker. Sterilize at 15 psi for two and a half hours. The sterilization process is crucial for grain spawn. Hydrated grain is the perfect substrate for many bacteria and molds, so you need to kill off any potential competitors before inoculation. Once the grain bags have cooled completely, it is time to inoculate them with a mushroom culture. Liquid culture is a great option to start with since it is easy to use and can reduce the chances of contamination when inoculating in non-sterile environments. You can also use plate cultures, sawdust spawn, or any form of mycelium to inoculate your sterilized grain. Make sure you use high quality genetics and use starter cultures that are 100% free of contamination. Seal the bags with a bag sealer or tape immediately after you remove them from the pressure cooker to reduce the likelihood of contamination. With these narrow 4T unicorn bags, it is best to flat seal them to allow more room for shaking the grains later on. Clean your hands and the injection port with isopropyl alcohol. Uncap the liquid culture syringe and inject 1 to 10 milliliters of liquid culture into the sterilized grain bag. Use more LC if you'd like a jump start on the colonization time. Or you can use as little as one milliliter of LC if you would like to maximize the number of grain bags you can inoculate with one LC syringe. Now shake each bag thoroughly to evenly distribute the moisture. After your grain bags are inoculated, place them in a dark, low traffic area for incubation. Temperatures of about 65 to 75 degrees are generally good, but can vary based on the variety you are growing. 
Check the spawn every 7 to 10 days for signs of healthy growth and to ensure it is free of contamination. You should see white mycelium and no green mold or sliminess. Once you see an established patch of mycelium, break up the grain and shake the bag. This helps to evenly distribute the mycelium and promotes more even and rapid growth. When the grain is 100% colonized and white with mycelium, it is ready to use. You can use grain spawn to inoculate bulk substrate or to inoculate more sterilized grain. You can also use it to inoculate liquid culture, agar slants, and more. The propagation options are endless with mushroom mycelium. I will link our other videos below for more details on propagating grain spawn. If your grain spawn gets contaminated or stalls and stops growing, you should throw it away and start over. Common reasons for contamination include not sterilizing the grain for long enough, too much hydration, improper sterile technique, or contaminated starter cultures. Subscribe to our channel for deep dives on all these topics. Please leave a comment if you have any questions and I will be happy to help. Thanks for watching and good luck on your mushroom growing adventures.